Oh, the light, the light. I love it. Told you the other day, I love it. Monday morning. It's raining outside. Our snow's melting. Yeehaw. How's everyone going today? Hope you had a good weekend. I had a great weekend. Saturday I went to the shop and did a couple little things. You see me uh, making that little custom piece on the 500i cover, which is uh, going to be good. I'm going to go get some more material today and make some um, more of them uh, in a uh, one inch round stock instead of that one and a quarter, I said. Uh, some fellow was met Mitch messaging me something about some fastener to use, but hopefully it gets back to me and maybe it will work okay for me, but there's nothing wrong with the nut and bolt I'm using. It works fine too. So, uh, yeah, did that Saturday, Sunday morning, yesterday morning, I helped Johnny do the floors there. You seen that in the old shop? Leveling them up. Looks like he finished it after I left yesterday. And, uh, of course, my mom had to make a comment about, um, I guess when we poured those sometimes it was in winter time. So, you know, the quality of the cement wasn't that great, but we got her done. We're just redneck construction guys up here in BC. Served us well for many years. Still will for the rest of our lives. So, yeah, then I went home and, uh, did some honeydew jobs. I um, unstuck my truck and got it running. Um, and uh, just getting rid of some garbage and the Christmas tree from Christmas, you know. And we haven't had garbage pickup for a while, so I thought oh, I'll take a load out to the dump. They had some free dumping for, for people that couldn't get their garbage picked up. So on my way out uh, to the garbage dump, out where Bucking lives, just past there. He messaged me saying, what are you up to? And I said, oh, I'm going to come by, have a visit. I get to the dump and there's a lineup, like 30 cars. I was like, forget that, I'm going to Buckins. And he just happened to be doing his live feed. So yesterday, maybe you would have seen me on there, which is cool. I didn't mean to disrupt his live feed for all you fine folk out there that follow him and follow me. But it was fun. And we're going to do it again. Maybe not, not all the time. Yeah, so that's his his thing, right? Maybe I'll be able to do a live feed myself someday. See how that goes and answers some people's questions. I managed to actually see a bit of Tin Man's live feed yesterday too. And I um, I was watching him while I was driving home. I just had my phone up on the dash. But not a real safe thing, but whatever. I took the back roads. They're not very busy. And made a few comments to him. And it was great to see him on there doing that. He did a great job of it. And... Uh, and be doing some more too. Now we just all, all need to get together for a visit. He lives way up in Manitoba. Me and Buck and Ann, Steve Small Engine Saloon all live in the same town here. I think I've mentioned to you that before, but maybe one morning Steve Small Engine will, will stop in at my shop here and we'll have a little visit with them. So anyways, yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone that commented on that from yesterday. And um, me and Buck will be doing the, uh, the McCullough stuff here in the next uh, week. So you'll see us uh, working together on some stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. Love the guy to death and uh, all you people out there too. So we'll uh, give you some fine fine footage there and teach you, uh, just show you. If you want to be taught, no problem. Just watch what we're doing and you'll learn from it, eh? Um, I've forgotten a bit about them, but uh, as we tear it down, it all get familiarized all back with it and we'll figure out um, uh, on those 125 McCulloughs, which ones were chrome bores and which ones had the um, uh, borable sleeves in them where um, you can go to oversized piss as 10 over, 20 over. I remember my dad saying he used to build the ones with like 60, 80 over and they just ripped, you know, the displacement of them. And a lot of them were the cart engines that he switched to and put the, put the cart engines in the 125 frame and a lot of followers had them out there. So... Not a lot of them left around though. We've been trying to scrounge as many up as we can. Um, people must have just unfortunately probably threw them away, went into metal recycling. What a shame. But we'll see, we'll see what else we can find down the road, eh? 
Uh, what else do I got in the go? That's a, that's a part of it. I'm just doing a 390. Um, <laughs> saying hi to Ger Gerbit over there in uh, England. That was funny that I was dealing with talking to him on the internet early in the morning or Saturday. I had a phone call with him to England and talking about his 390 he was doing. I coached him along a little bit on it and it should turn out okay for him once he finishes it off there. And he just happened to be on the live feed yesterday at Buckin's too. That was funny. And Buckin knows him from, from chatting on there. So yeah, that was great. Anyways, I got to get at her and get some more uh, jobs done for you fine folks out there. So y'all have a good week. Uh, check out thewalkersawshop.com online to start. Keep your saw in the wind, stick on the ice. Stay dry today. Bye.